What's up guys? I'm going to do a lyrical breakdown of my new song, Art Gallery, that just came out yesterday. So I'm going to kind of break down piece by piece what different things mean that I think really need to be explained. It's a very long song, it's very intensive, four minutes of straight bars, so we kind of need to dive in and we're going to do that starting right now. These are the breaks! Quick thing. So the way we're gonna do this is I'm gonna play a segment and then I'm gonna stop it and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about what we just heard and then we're gonna break it down that way. Um, the meaning behind the song, let me talk about that for a second. So the beat is actually Lupe Fiasco's murals. So I actually took that beat and rapped over it. So that's why I called it Art Gallery, just to kind of be synonymous uh, kind of with that, so. Tuning in, this is not intuitive, not meant to be punitive. I'm just a little lunatic, too legit to move it. Can't even say it, not in my vocabulary. I'm lucky for my adversaries. Uh. So what I was saying right there, first four bars, um, to everybody tuning in, this is not intuitive, so it's not easy it's not supposed to be easy to understand or simple minded. I'm just a little lunatic, too legit to move in qu and I'm not saying the word quit on purpose, the famous song, Too Legit To Quit. Um, I'm referencing that to be like kind of referential of hip hop. I'm not even gonna say it, so the next line is, can't even say it, not in my vocabulary, unlucky for my adversary. So the people who are against me, it's unlucky for them that I won't quit and I won't even say it. Of course I'm saying it now in this, so kind of defeated the purpose a little bit, just kidding. Moving on. Just be mad at Mary. Had a little lamb, turned out my biggest fan. Since I've been the stands growing, what a circumstance growing. And no, it's not consuming any brain, brother, stay. Okay, so I'm saying um, this is actually a bigger part, but I'm saying just be mad at Mary. Had a little lamb, referencing, of course, the children's story. Mary had a little lamb, or the song. Turned out to be my biggest fan. Sits up in the stands booing. What a circumstance brewing. And no, it's not consuming any brain real estate. So kind of talking about how maybe some of my biggest fans that I have are people hating in the shadows. It's kind of what I'm alluding to there. Let's go back in. For the faith, go and bring a dinner plate to the show. I sounded late, so you can eat. There's enough for little steaks, little faith that we meet. So convenient that it's a little funny. Don't be mad at me, MC, taking your lunch money. Why you run from me? Didn't know that I could rap. Okay. So I'm saying, continuing with that, that logic of the person who's hating in the shadows, right? Uh, go and bring a dinner plate to the show. I'll sign it late so you can eat. Here's enough for little steaks, little fate that we meeting. So convenient that it's a little funny. Don't be mad at me. MC's taking your lunch money. Why you run from me? Didn't know that I could rap. So it's kind of like um, this, this person that's hating in the shadows. They're really a fan. Um, I'm telling them, come to the show and I'll autograph a plate for you so you can eat. Kind of like a metaphorical way of saying like, because of me, you have a career, which is, you know, whatever. It's kind of like flossing a little bit. It's so convenient that it's a little funny. Don't be mad at me. MC's taking your lunch money. So it's like some of the, some of, uh, you know, my adversaries, so to speak, my enemies in the game, I guess. Um, it's kind of funny because it's, it's like back in, you know, whatever, middle school, preschool, when some kid would bully you and try to take your lunch money. Um, and so it's like that's what's happening to these rappers. They're they kind of they're trash <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to put it in a better way, but they're trash And so it's like don't be mad at me other MCs are making y'all look bad You know and at this point I'm not even necessarily talking about myself I'm just saying don't be mad at me that uh, that other rappers are making you look bad um and then I'm saying, why do you run from me? Didn't know that I could rap. So again, just kind of that, you know, you just got your lunch take your lunch money taken from you. You're going to run away. You know what I'm saying? Why are you running from me? Didn't know I could rap. Let's go back in. Like I'm some mummy cunning, coming, tummy, coming, photos, gunning, thunder, I knew plumbing, so I can flow. 
pay the fee so I can cry and fall. What you fighting for? This is fight or flight. You picked the flight and got delayed. Maybe you should try your boat. You did worse than bring a knife to a gunfight. You brought a bike to fight a goat. I'm squeezing tighter on the throat, uh. Like I'm some mummy, cunning, coming, tummy, coming for those gunning. Time to undo plumbing so I can flow. So, uh, wordplay here. I'm saying, didn't know that I could rap like I'm a mummy, like I'm a monster. You know, a monster that is a mummy, a mummy that is happens to be wrapped. So didn't know that I could rap like I'm some mummy, like I'm some kind of monster who is also wrapped. So some metaphor there and some, some wordplay there. Come in tummy, coming for those gunning, time to undo plumbing. The reason why I'm doing that kind of like da 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 flow is because it's it's supposed to be like stopped up almost like a pipe, which is why I say time to undo plumbing so I can flow. And then my flow changes right after that line. Pay the fee so I can find info. Now that line right there is maybe something you didn't catch. See if you catch this. Time to undo plumbing so I can flow. Pay the fee so I can find info. Fee fi fo, right? Giant. So I'm saying, so I can flow, pay the fee so I can fi and fo. So do so you pay me so I could be a giant and do giant things. What you fighting for? This is fight or flight. You picked the flight, it got delayed. Maybe you should try a boat. You did worse than bring a knife to a gunfight. You brought a mic to fight a goat. I'm squeezing tighter on the throat. So then it goes right into the next set of lines, which the very next line is about Darth Vader. Um, so anyway, we'll go into it now. Darth Vader with a bar saber, you a bartender and a bar made up in a car later with a broad fader and it's all related to the fall you make it. Tell your friends that I'm not taking any more bets on how you not greatness. Take the money, parlay it, arm a rise to the odds makers. Spend a thousand, make a dollar, get a soda, fresh taste it. Next matrix, dodge your bullets, kind of pulling for the antagonist like a magnet. Pull you in, I'm not bragging, I'm just adamant. I done had them in school days, but moving to home. Okay, there's actually a lot of stuff in that, so let's break it down. I'm Darth Vader with a bar saber. You a bartender and the bar made up in a car laid up with a broad faded and it's all related to the fall you making. Tell your friends that I'm not taking, okay, this part's kind of important. Any more bets on how you not greatness, I'm taking the money and parlayed it. I'm gonna take the money and parlay it, sorry. So this is where it gets in the betting term. So if you don't understand betting, um, which I had to look this up because I don't bet. So um, I'm gonna take the money and parlay it on my rise to the odds maker, spend a thousand, make a dollar. So that means it was bad odds because it, the odds are already high that I'm gonna win is what I'm saying about myself. So I'm saying a dollar is probably, you can only probably get a soda with a dollar. So I'm saying, you know, uh, get a soda, fresh taste in next matrix, dodging bullets, kind of pulling for the antagonist. Like a pre like a magnet, pull you in. I'm not bragging, I'm just adamant. So I'm stretching out that word magnet to magnet. Next matrix, dodging bullets. I'm dodging the bullet of wasting my money on another artist who's not gonna, so it's kind of trash talking a little bit. You kind of pulling for the antagonist, so I'm kind of embracing the villain role, uh, which kind of goes along with Thanos. And then it goes into the next flow, which we're gonna do right now. Friends is moving the chrome, put my heart and soul in a two minute song. If you ain't doing it that way, you doing it wrong. Put it in chronological order, I get a quarter, turn it into a dream. Like a connoisseur, kind of sort of, more like dinosaur. Carnivore, carving up all kind of corpses of MCs, kind of borders, kind of gorgeous. Okay, so I'm saying, um, I done had to miss school days for moving to homes. Friends is moving the chrome, put my heart and soul in a two minute song. If you ain't doing it that way, you doing it wrong. Put it in chronological order. I get a quarter, turn it into a dream, like a connoisseur, kinda sorta, more like dinosaur, carnivore, carving up all kind of corpses of MCs, kind of gore that's kind of gorgeous. So I think just slowing that down just kind of explains itself. This is not a course, not a drill. Somebody called Dr. Phil, apparently the therapy and lots of pills. White man in lab coat told me it's a lot of hills. I gotta climb by myself and lots of pills. Kind of feels like I'm in experiments. Medicine's imperative. Even if it paralyzes you, your parents get a better narrative. What about the negligence until you get it's evident? You put us in the system and they call it checking in. But really want to check again. We'll check this out. I'm checking out. When it doubt, when it bounce, work on crap, get it out. Okay. So went a little bit ahead there, but basically that chunk is talking about 
some personal stuff that I've went through and also see a lot. Somebody called Dr. Phil, apparently need therapy and lots of pills right there. I'm talking about um, typically ADHD and just being angry, stuff like that. You have to go to, the, to therapy um, and they usually put you on medicine. So that's why I say the next line, white man in lab coat told me it's a lot of hills. I got to climb, find myself in lots of fields. Not saying it always is a white man, but just kind of really trying to paint the stereotypical picture that, that it's always some sort of doctor. The doctor typically seems white most of the time and he's prescribing you medicine. Telling you it's going to be a lot of hills that I've got to climb. I'll find myself in lots of fields, so my feelings. It kind of feels like I'm in experiments. Medicine's imperative. So the experiment parts, a lot of times with dosage, they don't know what to give you, which I always find interesting. So they guess, they say, well, we're going to give you, you know, why don't you try taking three pills a day and then we'll see how that goes. Come back in two weeks, come back in two weeks. They're like, man, it makes me too sleepy. Okay, let's bring it back to two and a half pills. They'll make you cut a pill in half. So it's an experiment to see how much of the medicine you need. Medicine's imperative. Even if it paralyzes you, your parents get a better narrative. Your parents are happy even if you go to school like a zombie, which a lot of ADHD medicine and stuff like that makes you a zombie. So that's what I'm talking about. What about the negligence until you get, it's evident, you put us in the system and then call it checking in. What about the negligence so, you know, these people in the foster care system, a lot of them are kind of just getting money. So it's kind of like, they're doing this for the money, so there's a little bit of negligence going on there. You're not getting everything you need. And so you're getting this intel from me, and it's evident, but then you put us in the system and call it checking in when you come see us, but you really want the check again. We'll check this out. I'm checking out. When in doubt, when in bouts. And then it goes into the next segment, which we're gonna play right now. If you take one sentence from this, let it be the release is not to be like in the pivots coming out. Who's a dummy now? I was missing class, was considered bad, couldn't finish tasks, got me in detention fast. But copy and dictionaries turn me into a visionary literary. Made sweet 16 sweeter than Ben and Jerry's. Sorry that was soft, sir. Lost nerve. Might pull up for something that looked like the flying saucer. As a kid, I wasn't care, but music is what really fostered. Yeah. Okay, a lot in that chunk as well. Um, so I'm saying, uh, when in doubt, when in bouts, work on craft, get it out. If you take one sentence from this, let it be that a release is not to be like an appendix coming out. A lot of MCs, I'm kind of talking about myself, but also a lot of other uh, musicians and whatnot, they have trouble releasing things because they want it to be perfect, and it's not supposed to be that hard. The word is release. You're supposed to let it go. Release. Who's a dummy now? I was missing class, considered bad, couldn't finish tasks, got me in detention fast, but copy and dictionaries turned me into a visionary literary. I think I have a large vocabulary because um, the, getting in trouble at school and we would literally have to copy the dictionary. So you copy the word, the definition and um, doing that a lot. Obviously, you're going to learn different words. And I used to get excited about learning different words. So it's kind of funny how my punishment and school ended up being to my benefit. Made sweet 16 sweeter than Ben and Jerry's. Okay, simple line. Sorry that was soft serve. So I'm apologizing for that weak line before about sweet 16 sweeter than Ben and Jerry's because that line was just a little too easy to decipher. Um, sorry that was soft serve. I've lost nerve. Might pull up in something that looks like a flying saucer. As a kid, I was in care, but the music is what really fostered a boss burn. So I'm basically saying going through foster care, which is what I was in, music is what really took care of me. Here we go, next part. From the chaos that's ensuing, out of a came an opportunist, teach you how to do this. I done got a lot of students, they only this kind of prudent. Told them it's time to prove it. What you got, teach a man to fish, and he'll catch a lot. Similar with concept, what you produce is true, is directly related to what's up in the roots. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna stop there because the next part, there's a lot. So I'm saying, from the chaos ensuing in the household growing up, I became an opportunist. I'll teach you how to do this. I done got a lot of students. They only kind of prune it, so they're all right. Told them it's time to prove it what you got. Teach a man to fish and he'll catch a lot. Similar in concept, you get the rest. So 
even though I'm going to teach you something so that you can do it for yourself, what you get out of it depends on what's in your roots, is kind of what I'm saying there. Give the truth, right hand on the Bible while I stand on the booth. I done been in the suits, I done spoke this and wrote this and provoked this. I'm the dopest on the dope list. Other MCs is so pissed. Come at the king, the dopest. So tense, I'm just focused on the flow dance and it's poking. And it's no sense to the poke man, probably most men. Doses of the dopeness, watch the throat hit. Bow wins in the coast kid in Alabama from New York to South Atlanta. They don't got stamina. That last part I said, I'm going to give them the truth, right hand on the Bible while I stand in the booth. I done been in the suits. I done spoke this. I done wrote this and provoked this. I'm the dopest on a dope list. Other MCs is so pissed. If you come at the king, don't miss. So tense. I'm just focused so the flow dense and it's potent in a soul sense to the pole men. Probably most men. Give them doses of the dopeness. Watch the growth hit. Kind of self-explanatory when you slow it down. More wins than a coach get at Alabama from New York to South Atlanta. They don't got the stamina to try to stand with us, my team. Or even brand with us. So why are you playing with us? The most kind of deep point there is I'm, when I say I'm just focused so the flow dense and it's potent in a soul sense to the po men, probably most men. So at first I'm saying the stuff that I say is potent and it makes the flow a little dense, so sometimes it may be hard to understand, or big words, or complex, or whatever word, whatever words you want to use there. Um, but it's potent in a soul way. It, it's going to hit your soul poor in terms of like not money. It could be money, but I'm kind of using that as a double entendre there. Poor in money, but also poor in who they are. You know, religious. It would be poor in spirit but like poor in terms of who they are or who they feel they are. And then I say probably most men right after that. So there's a lot of deep stuff in just that one, two, three lines. You rest why you really have to dissect what I'm saying because there's always something deeper there. And I write like that because I was inspired by people like Nas and like that who I had to really dive into Lupe Fiasco, dive into their lines and figure out what they're meaning. And there's a lot of deep stuff in there. Um, so anyway, uh, most man growth, watch the growth hit. So I'm saying you will grow with this potency that I'm talking about. Uh, the rest is kind of self-explanatory. So Mo wins and the coach get at Alabama from New York to South Atlanta. They don't got stamina to try to stand with us or even brand with us. So why are you playing with us? That is the lyrical breakdown for Art Gallery. Thank you. Peace.